நமஸ்தே வணக்கம் ஸ்வாகத்தம் வெல்கம் டு தி மார்னிங் செஷன் தட் ஐ ஹவ் டுடே ஷிஃப்டட் டு மை பேஜ் ஆஸ் வாட் ஐ ரியலைஸ்ட் வாஸ் வென் ஐ டோ த்ரூ மை எஃபி அக்கௌண்ட் ஓன்லி தோஸ் ஹூ ஹூ இன் மை ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் சர்க்கிள் குட் பெனிஃபிட் ஃப்ரம் இட் and uh, as facebook only gives 5000 friends limit i thought let's shift on to the page so from today onwards all the sessions will be from this page rather than from my account we have been discussing the concept of mudra Mudra is a very beautiful art and science. The whole of yoga is an art and science. And this art and science of yoga in modern times has mutated into the business of yoga. Something that is a bit tough for me to manage, but it's okay. The world goes the way it needs to. the art and science of mudra enables us to understand that mindfully we can gesture the energies that are within us and those energies that connect us with the cosmos every time a mudra is adopted we are opening up channels of energy communication channels of in energy communication that communicate with ourselves communicate with others and communicate with the universe we have termed this as intra personal communication inter personal communication and trans personal communication these are terms given by my beloved amma ji yoga charini meenakshi devi bhavanani the communication channels are opened and the loss of communication the loss of energy is prevented by the adoption of the mudra hence the mudra is often translated as a seal for energy normally when we seal something we think that we have closed it off this is not closing it off what it means is that we are sealing any blockages that are there so that the energy can flow as freely as possible when the energy flows freely when the energy flows harmoniously when the energy is balanced at that point health wellness and wholesomeness all manifest in abundance one of the very beautiful mudras is the yoga mudra the gesture of yoga yoga is integration yoga is coming together yoga is union communion reunion hence when we do the yoga mudra we are telling the universe we are telling ourselves and we are telling others i want to be a unified being i want to be an integrated human being whose thoughts words and actions will all be in one flow that is what integrity is all about integrity is a state of being where thought word and action are all the same we want to create that integrity in us we want to be integrated human being not a disintegrated human doing which we have become disintegration is breakdown and that is disease integration is coming together 
and that is health. Health is a state of integrative wholesomeness where every cell in your body is communicating in a harmonious manner with each and every other cell. How do the cells in your body communicate with each other? They are the original Bluetooth technology. There are no wires. They don't need wires. They communicate by Bluetooth. Hmm? That is the natural Bluetooth we all have. What we want to do when we do the yoga mudra is we are telling our own self intrapersonally and the universe and others, I want to bring together the two equal and opposite energies and bring them together in a harmonious manner. Our right side and our left side. These are representative of the equal and opposite energies that are part and parcel of our life. The whole universe is bipolar. Sankhya talks about Purusha and Prakriti. Purusha and Prakriti at the highest cosmic level. And you come all the way down, you have electrons and protons at the atomic level. At the cellular level, you have the anions and the cations. At the nervous system level, you have the sympathetic and parasympathetic. We have all these equal and opposite energies that are moving through us. So the right side of the body is connected to the left brain and left side of the body to the right brain. There's a beautiful crisscross happening just approximately where the Ajna Chakra is. This is basically where it is happening. A crisscross from right to left and left to right. Whenever we are doing something with the right, we are working with the left brain. And whenever we are doing something with the left, we are working with the right brain. The left brain is basically the brain that helps us manage day-to-day -day life. Quantitative aspects of life. How much will I be paid? Will people give me something? What can I get? All of that is here. Calculative. But very important. It knows how to follow the rules to a T. Step 1, 2, 3, 4. It will do it. Your right brain is very, very different. The right brain is the brain that doesn't like boxes. Because it is creativity, unlimited. It is the abstract aspect of our consciousness. Thinking out of the box. Being able to perceive the artistic, poetic sensibility. So when we are working with the right, we are influencing the left. When we are working with the left, we are influencing the right. And in Yoga Mudra, we bring both of the fingers together. What are we telling ourselves? We are saying, I want to bring together in harmony both of these energies. Between the right and the left brain, there is the corpus callosum, colossal bundle of fibers that enables the right brain to know what's happening in the left and the left brain to know what is happening in the right. You know, one of my mentors, Dr. John Mumford, who gave me back the Yantra teachings of my father, and I am forever grateful to Dr. John for that. He gave me back a part of my father that I had not known of because I was born much later. Dr. John used to often make a statement. And that statement was very beautiful. He said, when you are totally in your left brain, when you are totally in your left brain, there is nothing right about it. It's a beautiful statement. When you are totally in your left brain, there is nothing right about it. When you are totally in your right brain, there is nothing left. And that is why it is not left or right. It is left and right. As I often say, it is not the old, and the old or the new. It is old and the new. It is not east or west. It is east and west. 
it is not science or spirituality it is science and spirituality that and is very important so what are we doing we bring our hands together we want the right side the fingers to be dominant so the right side fingers are going to be dominant you say now why if i had my german uh, students with me they would immediately the question comes why you know often the answer to the question why i i love questions because it enables you to grow as a teacher but often there's a point where people keep on saying why 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 so much that finally my answer becomes why not and so the final answer to the question why is why not that's where it stops but here there is an answer see we want to create a balance between right and left okay but one side is going to have to be slightly dominant you don't want a perfect balance because perfect balance can lead to a sense of stagnation if you are not careful because what is happening is there's no dynamic change happening there has to be a dynamic change happening that is why lord nataraja is the lord of change the lord of transformation of dynamic change that is why he is dancing he is not just standing there he is dancing what is dance constant change that is why nataraja is the best symbol of the change that has to happen the transformation that has to happen so what happens is that you want a slight dynamism remember right hand left brain so what happens when the right side is slightly dominant you have brought them together they are harmoniously balanced but the right is slightly dominant what you do is that it is like having a slight push towards activity that is why health is not just a state of well being but it well-being the moment you say a state of well-being people think i'm going to attain it and then rest of my life i live off it like a pension no it's not like that you have to every moment consciously keep on working on it that is why health happiness for that matter relationship for that matter everything is dynamic you have to be consciously constantly working on it because if you do not do that it is going to stagnate and stagnation will rot and degenerate so we keep the right slightly dominant okay so i'm it's in in your lap here i hope you can see my yeah you, you should be able to see the fingers though of course on the phone it's the reverse let us just contemplate quietly with the eyes closed the beautiful energies that are reduced from within us when we balance the right and left energies of our own existence bringing a sense of yukta which is the goal of yoga yoga is union it is yukta which means that which is yoked together yoked together means balanced harmonious symbiotic when we perform the yoga mudra within our own self physically mentally emotionally spiritually we are invoking and evoking a beautiful sense of harmonious balance balance lies in the center not in the extremes and that is why when talking of the kleshas both raga and dvesha that which you like and that which you dislike that which attracts you and that which repulses you both of them throw us off balance harmonious balance lies in the center not in the extremes and that is why we need to find that beautiful balance within a dynamic sense of balance a balance that is not of a tamasic or dull inert type of balance that is dead but a balance that is alive and kicking a rajasika balance and then we need to elevate it by our consciousness mindfulness into a sattvic balance 
The tamasika balance is basically at the level of the non-living things. A stone stays where you put it until an external force acts on it. The rajasika balance is more what we are as a human being. Constantly in activity, trying to find balance. That is the concept of homeostasis. And that is the concept that part and parcel of allostasis, the way we deal with the stresses that are there in our life. But then ultimately we need to grow into the sattvic balance, where a sense of samatvam, equipoise, comes from above, from the cortical aspects, the human part of our nervous system, the humane part of our consciousness. It is from there that we can bring about a beautiful sense of sattvic balance, a balance that is guided from the bigger perspective. The Yoga Mudra enables us to attain, maintain, sustain this wonderful sense of balance and regain it if we have lost it. This can be understood as also the concept of resiliency. We all fall down, but can we get up at the earliest in the best possible manner and regain our balance once again? The Yoga Mudra, the gesture of union, the gesture of integration, the gesture of communion, reunion, enables all aspects of us, all the dualities, to be balanced into a sense of oneness. Very, very beautiful energies. I have a question from Manjari Prabhu there. Yes. What if you are left-handed? You see, both right-handers and left-handers, the actual nervous system is not wired too differently in general. So still, your right side is going to work to the left brain and left to the right brain. And these qualities of the right and left brain do not change too much. And that is why even if the person is a left-hander, that is only at the physical level, not at the energy level. Because at the energy level, the blueprint is the same. It is only from the energy when it is coming down into physical that there are some changes. And so some people become a right-hander, a left-hander, or they become ambidextrous, where they can use both hands equally. I remember the professor in the movie Three Idiots, who used both hands because he wanted to save time. Uh, Arjuna was said to be ambidextrous. Many of our great heroes in Indian culture. And I think it is good because I have seen it even when I'm playing badminton with my son. What we do is we play with the right and then we keep on changing to the left and we decide to play with the left. And the idea is that you want to have a sense of balance in whatever you do. One of my friends in Germany, Shankara, who runs our icyr.com website, he had set up his computer in a way that, you know, he could keep on changing from right to left and left to right. And it's a very beautiful idea because, again, it's about finding that balance rather than becoming one side dominant. Most of us are one side dominant. Now, one side dominant is a state of imbalance. So it is important to also keep the other side in mind. The Yoga Mudra definitely brings everything together. And when everything comes together, we are in a much better, better state of being. We'll be back in a few moments to share the synchronized global prayer. And I would just like to remind you that from now on, my sessions will be on this 
uh, yogacharya dr anand balayogi bhavanani facebook page so that we can share easily and reach more people because as i always love to say sharing is caring so keep sharing see you all back soon welcome back and thank you for joining me for this morning's synchronized global prayer let us invoke the spirit of the great masters of all traditions तत्परम पेदे ज्ञानलिंगेश्वराय धीम तो गु प्रचोदया ओं योग में श्रक्त स्वामी गीतानंद गिरी गुरु महाराज की जय Let us start the performance of the Brahmari, twenty-seven rounds of this beautiful pranayama. <laughs>
Sit quietly, contemplating the beautiful experience educed from within yourself by the Brahma. A beautiful sense of oneness, harmony. A sense of ease, Anuttama Sukha, unparalleled sense of ease, A beautiful sense of Santosha, contentment, arising from within. A sense of being established in our own self, swast. A sense of being balanced and harmonious, saukya. A sense of wholesomeness, purnam. And a beautiful sense of bliss, Ananda.
Rub your palms together, generating a nice heat. Place the heat over the eyes, the forehead and the whole head. When we are performing the Brahma Ray in this way, there's a beautiful sense of ease that comes. And then I remember we have to come out and do the rest of the prayer. Maybe one of these days we'll only focus on the Brahmari and this beautiful experience. I'm really enjoying this beautiful experience from within. That experience that is giving us that sense of ease, contentment, wholesomeness. And from this place, let us now make our Sankalpa positive, affirmative statement. With all our collective power of peace, we overcome COVID-19. With all our collective power of peace, we overcome COVID-19. With all our collective power of peace, we overcome COVID-19. With all our collective power of peace, we overcome COVID-19. With all our collective power of peace, we overcome COVID-19. With all our collective power of peace, we overcome COVID-19. With all our collective power of peace, we overcome COVID-19. With all our collective power of peace, we overcome COVID-19. With all our collective power of peace, we overcome COVID-19. Let us express our admiration, our cheerfulness, our support for all of those for making a difference to our world right at this moment. Everyone who is fulfilling their responsibility so that humanity can continue. Continue hopefully in a better way. Continue with consciousness. Continue with a sense of responsibility that we as a human race need to make changes. Everyone each and every one who is doing their bit, however small or big it may be, their swadharma, their self-responsibility at this moment. Whether it is being in the front line, the back line, the side line, being at home on the street, being in hospitals, being in schools, wherever it is, wherever people are making the difference, let us appreciate them. Let us have gratitude, let us respect them and let us cheer them on saying, come on, you are being wonderful, we are with you. With those thoughts, let's conclude chanting the Shanti Mantra. Mm. Loka Samasta Sukino Bhavantu Sarve Janaha Sukino Bhavantu Om Shanti 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 Om Thank you very much. Be safe, be healthy, be happy and be blessed wherever you are. Hari Om Tatsat.